What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video. Guys, we're getting close to 2,000 subscribers. I think we're within 100. So if you're new to the channel here, hit that subscribe button. If you like the content you're seeing, hit that thumbs up button guys. Let's get into her. Well guys, calving season is officially here for us. We have had two calves so far. So we have had, our first calf was a heifer calf and our second calf was a little bull calf. We had one, so today is Tuesday. We've had one Saturday, one Sunday and nothing since. So we are up to having two calves now guys. So pretty exciting. I'm out here feeding here. Just looking at the herd here. Just want to see if we see any more little babies out here today. Which right now I do not. But there's one right there. Let's see. That one we've already had. So it looks like we're still at two. We'll get some we'll get some feed slung out here and go take a look at them, see how they're doing here. There's one of them up there. She's just nursing. We'll just kind of let that feed wagon drive itself here. Just want to come out and see what the calves look like here. See if we've got anybody that's getting close out here. Number 22 right here. Here's two of the babies. Here's one of the little bull calves right here. Yeah, hey bud. How you doing? That is his mama right there. So he's looking good. Just want to come check on some of these. Hi, buddy. What are you doing this morning, big guy? Huh? Yeah, you're funky. There's a little heifer we've had. Her mom's right back there. Just want to check on these. That cow's got quite a bag, so she's getting close. She's getting close. The old wagon's doing good over there. So we're up to two calves so far. Let's see if we've got any mamas that are getting close. Yeah, maybe that one right there. These calves that we're spitting out, we purposely breed them to a bowl that spits out low birth weight calves. That way the moms don't have any trouble giving birth when, you know, say we're not around or in the middle of the night. And especially for uh, first calf heifers, it makes it real easy on them. So those two calves there are probably, probably weighing around between 50 and 60 pounds. So we just like to have those low weight births to help with the birthing process. But it looks like we've got some that might be close and the other two are doing pretty good. But, uh, I better go. I better go stop this driver here, so we can we can quit feeding here. So today is April fifth. So that's what today is. It is April the fifth. Still plenty cold here in Indiana, and it's plenty wet. I think this morning it is like thirty-seven degrees. I think they're calling for rain the next two days. So our main focus here this month, pretty much, is going to be on these calves at least my main focus will be on these calves here this month <clears throat> see if we can't have quite a few here uh and then we just all we've got ready to do for spring left to do is just to get one planter back together we currently are working on putting a new liquid pump on which will show that once we get back to the farm here this morning hopefully get that wrapped up <clears throat> and then uh after that, for the planter, all we're waiting on is some blades. So we're real close to being ready to go for plant 22. 
but I'm afraid it's gonna be a wet spring and uh, we probably won't even be in the fields for another month. But I hope that is wrong and maybe we can get blessed with some beautiful weather here towards the middle of April, towards the end of April. That would be awesome. All right, guys, so here is what we have got going on in the shop. Uh, we have got a local mechanic out here uh, working on this 8335RT, uh, new fan drive, a uh, new transmission input seal going in, uh, and the cap suspension on this tractor is not working very good. So we've called them in to come do some of this more tedious stuff that you got to have special tools to do. So here's kind of the parts they've been going through. So they're working on this. Uh, hopefully tomorrow they'll be done. About a two-day job. Simple reason as to why we call them in and not deer is their labor is quite a bit cheaper. So your dollars go a little bit farther. And the guy we use is actually a retired, not a retired, but he used to be a John Deere mechanic. So he used to work on all these tractors, kind of left deer and went and did his own thing. So we bring, we brought him in. And while he's here, we've got the old international back here with the cab jacked up we are going to have him pull off the injection pump and he's going to send it off and do a little bit of work to it so the injection pump on the side of this big cam here leaks pretty bad i don't know what's if there's a seal out inside there or what have you but he's gonna take it off probably send it to cummins maybe or shied probably and have them uh, do a little bit of work to it and probably even squeeze a little bit more horsepower out of the old girl. All right, the other thing we've been working on here is on the back of this planter. We have got a brand spanking new uh, diaphragm pump here. So it's a hydraulically driven uh, liquid diaphragm pump. And this is what we use to deliver liquid via Inferro down here on the Keaton Seed Firmer. So we did all new plumbing, added a couple screens, actually added a nice agitation line too. Uh, cleaned up a lot of this uh, and it's pretty nice. It, it looks a lot better than it did. And the pump is not absolutely junk like the old one. So we are gonna try some products this year from a company called Advancing Eco Agriculture. They deal with a lot of inferro applications, seed treatments, uh, foliars, kind of uh, a bugs in a jug company, if you will. But they claim that they have got producers raising some pretty decent organic corn uh, with no nitrogen, no organic, no nitrogen like manure or anything used. They're just simply using their program and they're raising some pretty nice corn. So we're going to try just a couple different products from them this year, you know, on maybe a few hundred acres. We're not going to scale it up. Uh, they're a little bit pricey. Not going to lie on that one. They're pretty pricey. Uh, but we're going to give them a whirl and their products, a lot of sugars, a lot. There's a lot of biology involved in some of these. So the reason on some of this liquid application stuff you can't have a real small screen size or you'll be screening out some of that biology. The whole point here is to let that biology go into the soil and do its thing. Because that's what their products really do. They really turn on that biology in the soil and they kind of trick the soil into being the perfect environment for that seed to grow. So we're gonna try them out, see how they work. So some of this liquid stuff has been tailored to that a little bit, but it should work with any, any liquid system that's ever gonna go through this planter now, it should actually be pretty nice and it should work pretty good. So this new pump we've got, I think it's like a 22, 23, 24 gallon a minute pump. So it should be plenty of movement to get us where we need to be, you know, up to that probably eight to 12 gallon to the acre rate. I think it's kind of where they want the inferro side of these products delivered at that is where they found the optimum results well, that's about it there's not a lot that's been going on here the past couple weeks it's been pretty slow it's been awfully wet as well awfully wet it's raining today we've probably got another quarter to a half inch of rain 
so it's wet. Rain's in the forecast for tomorrow, for tomorrow, which would be today for you guys watching it. And there's rain this weekend, rain next week. So the way this spring's shaping up, it kind of looks like it's going to be one of those 2019 years. I know it's pretty early to say it, but <clears throat> it's April and it's wet as can be. I think at this point last year, there were several farmers in our area that were already, that were going pretty good. But time will tell who you never know what Mother Nature's going to do. You never know. Got one last thing I need to do here tonight. We've got a good chunk of our seed corn coming in the morning. And we're going to put it right here where the 8430 and the white truck are. So we're going to go ahead and take the 8430 outside, put it over on the shop side for now. We'll park it over there and uh, get these two out of the way so we can put some seed corn there tomorrow. Oh, she starts up and purrs just like a kitten. Gotta love these 30 series. Gotta love them. For being a 2008, so a 14 year old tractor, still looks pretty good. Still looks real good. We got her nestled on up in there by the planter. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead Shut the shop doors up. Shut the other side up. Call it a night. Get ready for a seed delivery in the morning. And uh, whatever else we'll get into tomorrow. But guys, we're probably going to wrap this video up here. I appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, liking, and commenting. Really means a lot to me, guys. The goal is to keep growing this channel. We're getting close to 2,000 subs, like I said before. So let's just keep at it, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.